Hey, welcome back, Daily M1. Today we're doing two things that are a little bit different, may require a partner. So if you don't have a partner, you're all alone in your mobility, don't worry. You can still do some guaranteed calf smash, something that you've seen before, all right? That's your homework. If not, I want you to get a partner. And there's some things that just require super friends. So here's what we're going to talk about today. First is I want to just recover what we call uh, myofascial release with percussion, comma, or ball whacking, which is a fantastic phrase about freeing up skin. Now, check a look at this. Part one of this thing is we have found out that using a lacrosse ball is an easy way to free up sliding surfaces. So if I load up uh, Margaret's Achilles here and just this calf complex, notice that the skin does not slide. And if we check skin in any other aspect of our body, you'll notice that it does slide over the bones and tendons. And just like that, in fact, you can test this anywhere and you'll notice that your skin slides, Dave. Isn't that cool? So check this out though. Mags has what we call an exoskeleton. She's basically got a high chitinous, high uh, stiffness chitinous exoskeleton. So relax for me. And when I, when I dorsiflex her, you notice that she's past 90 degrees now. So she's making progress. But one of the things that we see is that we have to be thinking in systems. And when someone is stuck down, I mean, this represents a tremendous change for Margaret over the course of some time. But if we're, the skin is not sliding over the bony aspects, then it, basically it acts like a lock. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to just recover and show you this as a technique. We've rarely seen that uh, making someone's skin slide sends them to the hospital. But if you're concerned about this for some reason, you should not do it. Like if you're working on an elderly person with really thin skin. Obviously, that's not you, Max. Although you're thin, your skin is thin. All right, now check this out. All I'm doing is grabbing the, the Achilles here, and I'm just taking up the slack. So I'm pushing in with the ball putting a little bit of load into the Achilles, right into the foot, just holding it with my stomach, and I take up some slack here, and so I'm pulling in and coming down. Can you see how that fascia just winds up and comes to its end range there? And then here's the magic, ready? Pop. And what I'm doing is not trying to chisel out a, a masterpiece here, because she's already a masterpiece. All I'm trying to do is just get the skin to slide, and with that quick percussion, I get a really quick impulse on the tissues, trying to send the impulse this direction. So I'm not trying to come in and, and, and chisel away. I just get a one quick heavy hand, pop, come in, I reload, pop, and every time I reload, I keep taking up the tension in the skin, and I pop, and I'm just working this away around the Achilles, and it doesn't take many to free up the skin. Now what does that feel like, Mags? It feels better. Now look, see how Mags' skin is sliding here? Even under load, I can pick up the skin off the tendon. So if we see athletes who have a tendon-related problem or tendon sheath skin interface problem, what's our mechanism to restore those sliding surfaces and to reperfuse that? Now what's interesting is all we just did a little bit, and it radically improves our dorsiflexion. Just because the skin can now release and we start to see the, imp the implications of that, those fascial layers on joint range of motion. This is why we've got to be thinking in systems. Over here on the ankle, I can do the same thing. Just a quick pop. I'm just pulling up the skin. It doesn't take much to hold. And then just get it to slide. And all of a sudden, up it slides over there too. So if we see tendon related problems behind the, um, the sort of the, this lateral malleolus, you know, we see peroneal tendonitis like issues, then one of the things that we can do is make sure that those skin is at least not adhered to the tendon bed. Over on the inside, the same thing is true. Look how the skin doesn't slide. It slides in a couple planes, but doesn't slide in all four planes. All I do is wind up, give it a quick pop, working around it. And don't worry, if you're terrible at this, I was too. And it turns out once you've touched a whole lot of ankles, you get really good at it. Uh, the person who really brought this to our attention was Greg Johnson. He's a physio out of Steamboat Springs. Um, I think he's the Institute of Functional Arts. And look what happened to her dorsiflexion. It's dramatically changed. Does that feel different, Mags? Yeah. Now, keep in mind that this is just a correlate. The real thing is, would it feel better if she was in a pistol-like shape? But understand that it makes a difference to just attack this. Now, homework for the day is to go ahead and, and clean up those um, the sliding surfaces with a lacrosse ball. Just give it a go with your friends. Make sure that those are sliding. You know, and I think this is a function of the fact that we don't move around a lot sometimes, aren't spending times in the squat, and wear socks kind of basically causing compression adherence in these areas. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little gua sha. 
So, I've got my sliding foam here, I've got my gua sha tool, and this is a wonderful technique. And the reason we're doing this today, the impetus of this was that Mags um, has her own leopard claw, and her kids were, what were they complaining about? That, hey, my calves hurt, my Achilles hurts, right? And she was like, great, no problem, we can address this. So, we want you to be able to see this as an intervention around... Um, improving calf-related dysfunction or Achilles dysfunction for your family member and friends. And then after a big ride, a big run, something goes on. Mags had a, con a contest this weekend. So I can still slide 45 degree angle. And remember the first thing I'm doing is sort of desensitizing. I'm just scraping around. She knows, like, oh, that's super tendon, super tender. I'm just just careful, and I'm just kind of bringing some awareness in, just doing some light scraping. And how does that feel, Max? It feels good. That's right. And this is a much subtler version of what we did before in a way that allows us to penetrate much deeper. So now suddenly I flipped it up. I'm doing a 45 degree angle, both hands, and I'm just scraping slowly, and it feels uh, like broken glass <laughs> caught underneath the rug. That is disgusting. And hard for her to mobilize that. So the key here is that we're thinking about not of this as necessarily a reactive issue, but this is a great way to address global function. And notice that I'm just kind of working my way across, scraping in these little sections at a time, and it feels terrible. Oh my God. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Max is laughing because she recognizes that it feels awful in there. It's not, it's not painful. It just feels crunchy as all get out. And so I'm, it's not painful to me at all. I, she likes to point that out. She made, she, Mag started in our exercise competition this weekend and she made me promise that I wouldn't torture her. And I said, no problem, you can just lay on the ground and I'll take care of everything. <laughs> so again, just working on sliding. And the idea here is I'm not gonna treat one area for longer than 20 or 30 seconds. So if I stay on this spot, it, Eventually what's gonna happen is Mar Margaret's gonna say, hey, that doesn't feel very good. So notice that I'm just working across and then I'm just systematically working my way up and then I'm gonna flip this around and then I've got a lot of calf here. I'm just gonna work down and I can use my fingers to support the, the intervention but I'm just going to scrape. So what I want you to do today as homework is to go ahead and find a butter knife, find a spatula, find some gua sha tool, something that's going to work. I want you to lay one of your training partners down and I want you to go ahead and scrape them. It doesn't matter if you have a fancy lotion, use whatever lotion you've got on hand. And I want you just to develop the feel for what is normal sliding surface dysfunction, right, and what is, what is normal tissue. So if it feels crunchy and it doesn't slide, that's a problem. Stay on there. Hit it a little bit, work across, work back around, think four or five minutes a leg, and uh, this should be part of your training language if you're ever going to train with someone and you're going to do the hard work. See you guys tomorrow.